biggest summer festivals is around the corner, the Downtown Bacon Throwdown. It's over our shoulders. I'm trying not to get distracted. I know, it's making here. me hungry. News Channel 20 Sunrise reporter Evan Peterson live in downtown Springfield with a preview of that event. Evan? Hey there guys, some call it savory, others call it sizzling, but whatever you call it, know that bacon is returning. And this year, bacon enthusiasts are promising you just one thing, and that's more bacon. Standing behind the counter at hy V's Market Grill, Julie Hunter is working her way around the restaurant. hy V is very new to the restaurant world. I'm just kind of here helping getting things like, you know, going and straightened out and and just having fun with that. A familiar face, but a different backdrop. The former owner of Julia's Kitchen, Julia, was the winner of the first Bacon Throwdown Festival. And this year, she'll be returning. Are going to participate again this year. We're going to have a loose meat, loose meat pork slider with uh, the onion bacon jam on it, like we had at the restaurant. And um, our dessert's gonna be really good. It's gonna be like a bacon bread pudding. Joining Julia in the Bacon Throwdown will be 15 other vendors. Lisa Clemens-Stott with Downtown Springfield, Inc. says claiming the title won't be easy. There's two parts. One is the people's choice, so people will be able to vote using an app on their favorite bacon item and as well as their favorite cocktail. And then there will be culinary wizards who will do a high-level judging of the food. Roughly 6,000 people attended last year. Stott says they're expecting a similar turnout for this year's and that they'll be better prepared for the weather. Everybody will be under tents, so if they love bacon enough and if they like the bands that we've selected, then there's still a possibility that they'll be out there. The return of crowds, the lingering smell of bacon, and the throwdown pressure is familiar for Julia, who has some words for those looking to take the bacon trophy away. Well, just keep trying. <laughs> A concern that a lot of bacon enthusiasts have been posing online is that they are worried about the fear of a shortage of bacon. If you remember last year, the first bacon throwdown, there was a lot of vendors who ended up running out of the tasty treat. And now Stott has told me and promised me that a lot of vendors they've spoken with and they've said that we know what the crowds are going to be like this year. Again, roughly 6,000 people, so they need to plan accordingly. Live downtown Springfield this morning, I'm Evan Peterson, News Channel 20, Sunrise. Remember one of the big hits last year was the bacon wrap mac and cheese. Oh, that was delicious. From Julia's I had a lot Kitchen. Of that. Yeah, yeah, they put the two pieces of bacon down, mac and cheese mac in the middle, wrapped middle. it up and deep fried it. Oh, that, that was, was delicious. Coming up,